All right, guys, then it comes to you. Got a quick little project. Uh, it's actually for myself, but what's the difference? Uh, I picked up a, a large log log chain. I don't know, it's like 13, 14 feet long. At an auction, and you can see the um, slip hook, I think that's what I'm gonna call it, um, has been distorted beyond use. And obviously, it isn't extremely hardened, otherwise it would have broken rather than, than bent like that. But uh, obviously some, some tremendous force was applied to that. So I'm going to fix it. Uh, I'd be, I'm in the mood to just, you know, old school. Get back into some of the things that blacksmithing was supposed to be. You can't make a living on it this, nowadays. Probably by the time you, you repair this, you could go out and buy a new one. But anyway, it has uh, what I call a repair link in it. I don't know if it's the right name or not. So we'll heat that repair link up. We'll open that up so we can take this... Uh, this hook off and then we'll just reshape it put it all back together simple simple but again it's and that's what it ain't what it's about now what it's about now is you go to the store and, and buy a new chain or or you sell this at an auction buy a new chain or something it's, it, but instead of replacing a part let's fix it all right let's fix this one I'll catch you all right so i got the uh, bend on that repair link heat it up See if we can go ahead and open this up. Kind of an awkward little thing we're working with here, but let's see what we can do. do that. Throw it in the place here before she cools too much. And I'm hoping all I need to do is take my little bending tool like this. Tool won't pull that sucker up. And there we go, it was just binding in there. So we'll just open it up like that. Hopefully, that's enough. We need to take the rest of the chain off. Go down there to begin with. Just gotta come off somehow. There you go. That goes something to the side, and then if we, hopefully, get that hook around, we can now pull that hook off, just like that. All right, so now we got the hook off, and we'll go ahead and try the repair. All right, since that eye has a kink in it to, to begin with, we'll go ahead and Great. I'm going to use the wooden mallet best, the best I can so I don't put a lot of hammer marks in. It's got a bit of a twist to it also. I'm going to go, oh, I can't go with the vise, I got something up in the vise. So we'll go over to the vise, get rid of the link, hopefully before we run out of heat. And uh, see if we can get that little bit of a twist out of there. what I need to do here. That way. That way a little bit. I think that's good. Again, I'm trying to ignore all of this out here because it's making my eyes go wonky. But I would like to put... Oh, I'm not quite strong enough to answer that job. A little bit of a twist on it. Ain't bad, actually. If I can get over there with a little bit of heat. I'll be back. Hold on. I want to twist it a little bit more. Hopefully, a huge amount of heat for this. I just want to get a bit of a twist out of there. I hope we can get on it with something, though. Let me do that. It's just at the eye. It isn't exactly critical, but there's just that. Just a little bit. All right, good. So now we're done with the eye part. And we're looking relatively straight until we get into the wonka wonk. So we'll flip around, get that hook heated up, see what we can do about getting her back where we think she wants. Now, there's a lot of mass in that hook, so I just took my time trying to bring it up 
slowly. Hopefully it's up where we can move it. Uh, my poor old mallet's it's just about on its last leg right now, but I have a heavier one, but I don't want to use that yet. Try to get things kind of lined up. There's a kind of a wonk going on there. I might have to use my heavy one. I would prefer not to use a hammer. And we're just trying to work that back. I'm going to use my heavy one. Try to save that for just woodworking stuff. back to where she needs to be. A couple more eats. I think we'll have it. Should be a nice simple project. And make another make a tool that was not useful useful again. Alright, let's see what we can do about maybe getting that thing back in shape. Kind of like doing a scroll, just trying to get back to where she belongs. The nose is just a little off. That looks good. That does look good. Come on nose, come back around. It isn't horrible. There's a little wonk right in here. don't like so much. Just give it a little persuasion. It don't look horrible. And then I just want to line that point up a little bit. I don't know if you can see or not, but we're just a little off. Not your fault. Alright, so she's back in shape again. We probably could have done this with a torch. I got a little bit of a hook here on the, the, the tip of that nose. A little bit of a... I had a little bit of a wobble in it that way too. So let's just heat this end up one more time. And I think we'll have a decent, decent chain. Alright, we're going to just start with this nose. It's going to take me two more heats, actually, because this nose just isn't where I want it to be. It's off to this side a little. Like that. I don't think that looks bad right there. And I still have a bit of a kink back here by the eye, now that everything else is where it wants to be. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Alright, so... We look good there, but there's still just a little bit of a wonk. If you can see it or not, but it goes a little off to the side. Might as well fix it while we're here. All right, let's fix this last little bit here. Oops, a little bit of ash. But again, it comes off just past the eye. Come in close as I can here. Let's see if we can get it. And there you have it. All right, nice and straight. Everything's where it needs to be. Now we just need to reassemble the chain. All right, we'll put this thing back together the same way we took it apart. First thing we did, or the last thing we took off was the was the uh, hook. So let's put the hook back on. Get a pair of tongs that will allow me to do that. So the hook goes on, we'll get her out of the way if we can. 
And then I'm not sure if this is still hot. This hasn't been a very long project, so we'll get the link back on. Tongue's out of the way, Chandler. Get that link back on there. A persuader help there. Come on, man. Oh, you know what? It was wider on the other side. I can see that the chain is a little wider on this side. So let's start it there. There we go. Just like that. Bring our repair link down. Hopefully line it up. I'll tell you, this repair link wouldn't be a, 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 a bad project to do either. Not sure if they are... Uh, Upsetting the piece around. Upsetting a piece around and then punching a hole in it, or if they're wrapping around a forge welding, my guess is upsetting. Punch a hole. Uh, she ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but I don't remember for sure what it looked like again. But she'll hold, no doubt. And that's it. I had wrapped the chain around the anvil so I wouldn't have to fight the, head, the weight of it. There's much. There you go. One repaired. I call it slip hook, cinch hook, something like that. Uh, and now we got a chain worth having. I don't think this is hardened uh, and tempered. If it is, it's got to be tempered way down low. So I'm just going to let it air, air uh, cool. And we'll call this project done. So, again, I know it's not a knife or something crazy, but to me, this is a long, long, long time ago, local blacksmith, somebody comes knocking on your door, they'll be saying, hey, can you fix that? And the answer is, there you go. Yeah, I can. So, hope you enjoyed it. Nice, short, and sweet. And I hope it gets some more to you soon. I really do. Take care. Thanks for your support. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, <laughs> Maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.